I mean, he's doing great things, you know, but uh, I don't think he's done as good as he thinks he's done. But I mean, uh, you know, well, time will tell. But, uh, you know, I think uh, I'm going to be giving a bit of an awakening, a bit of humbling uh, February. But again, he's a good, strong, uh, durable guy. But um, yeah, like you said, he is, uh, he is young and hungry. But uh, that's one thing that uh, I think I'm, I'm more hungry than these guys trying to chase that belt. And I've always been uh, that way. I'm more dedicated to this sport, I'm more passionate, uh, more calculated. I think uh, all this counts, especially uh, when, when you're defending your belt. So that this is why I feel like I can defend it for so long, because I'm uh, more passionate than ever. You know, I've used the word uh, delusional in a sense where we, we've obviously it's pretty cocky. Um, but you, there's nothing wrong with being cocky and uh, as some would say delusional, it's okay as long as you're putting the work in. Uh, so maybe he's putting the work in, we don't know. Uh, maybe he's preparing for the worst. You know, if he's preparing to just go out there and do what he's always done and it's gonna work against myself, you know, then, then he's delusional and it's, uh, it's gonna be a big uh, negative for him. It's, gonna, it's not gonna work out well for him when you think like that. But if he's uh, saying these things, but he's preparing, uh, he's trying, still trying to get better, um, he's saying that he's just going to do this, but he's preparing and trying to get better, knowing that he's, he needs to step up. Uh, yeah, it's a different story. To be honest, I have the same intensity. I always prepared all my fights like I were fighting with the, with the best guy in the world. So this fight, this training camp is pretty similar and we were victorious. Not, not mm, in, in reality, that's, that's what I really think because at the point where he is right now, I feel he's not in his best me me mental, mm, mental state, mental state physical state. I don't know, I feel like it's going to be pretty easy for me. I mean, I don't really think about it, but obviously my first reaction to it now is just laughing because all those people, there's no uh, substance. They're, they're talking the talk. They're not going to walk the walk. You know, Patty, they gave him two heroin had addicts to fight back to back, and he didn't even beat the last one. He fought this guy, Jared Gordon, a legit heroin addict, and he didn't even win the fight. The world knew he lost that fight. So... You know, if he didn't have a bull cut and an accent, nobody would care about Patty. <laughs> That's the only reason they like him is a bull so, cut and an accent. So He's not even a good fighter. He'll never be a top 30 fighter. The closest he'll ever get to fighting for a world title is if he got on his knees and came and sniffed my jockstrap. <laughs> <laughs> it's facts. Yeah, I mean, look at the stuff that Sean Strickland does. He should worry about... Uh, figuring out his justice system situation over in Vegas, pistol whipping some guy in the middle of the street and almost shooting the guy dead that was just walking around drunk around his neighborhood. So the guy's a train wreck. That's the type of guy that might do some Eddie Guerrero stuff to his family in the future. You got to be careful. I, I, you know, that guy's, he's brain dead. He's been hit in the head too many times. So he, you know, I, I think he's going to have some, some problems in the future. And then Michael Chandler, who? I mean, the guy was getting knocked out in Bellator. The guy's a complete scrub. What's his UFC record? Like one in four? Like we're talking about that. My win percent in the my win percentage in the UFC is like over ninety percent. Like it's just, you know, I'm an all time great in this division. I've done things in this division that people aren't ever going to do. I mean, I'm the only fighter to ever go to the White House and hang out with a sitting president. I'm the only one to ever get the first family front row. I'm the only one to ever have you know a president out there supporting and dapping me up before I walk in the octagon. So. He can keep talking all he wants, but there's no substance. Another guy that's just all talk and no walk.
weight, keep the weight distributed, all right? Put on the back leg, one, put, oh yeah, put on the back leg, one, put on the lead leg, two, then uh, four, keep the lead, back, uh, which is four, boom, boom, boom. All right, so rock the weight. Whatever you do, guys, just don't get, don't get back. And here are the top three memes found on the internet today. Oh, obrigada. Thanks for watching. If you like the content, smash that like button and don't forget to subscribe to stay in the talk.